Good morning guys from the still frozen Czech Republic. I just wanted to show you what it takes to tow a trailer with a Ram 1500 in the Czech Republic. This trailer which you can see is a flatbed. The bed is 4.2 meters long and 2.2 meters wide. The overall length is 5.5 meters. As you can see the axles are in the middle of the trailer and that's the reason why we don't need to use a weight distributing hitch. Even though it would be handy, we don't have to use it, according to European Union. Also, we don't have to use safety chains. Also, we should, but we don't have to, so we don't. The only safety thing is that red wire, which you can see, it's hooked to the trailer. Those are emergency brakes. When the trailer separates from the truck, it will activate the brakes. The coupling works probably similar to yours in the United States. As you can see, it's a standard ball and some kind of coupler. If I lower the trailer, it will lock itself. Now, if I want to uncouple it, it's pretty much impossible because this lever doesn't stick in the open position. I have to hold it open and then raise the trailer, so it's impossible for it to uncouple itself. But I also use another safety thing, and that's this aluminum cover. If I put it over here, lock it, hopefully. Now it's locked and it can't be separated in any way, which is kind of neat. Uh, second thing that I wanted to show you are the mods which are done to this pickup. Hockey style fender flares, these are kind of obvious. I believe that you know it too, when the mud and rocks fly off the front wheels on the front door, it's kind of annoying. And this paint or basically the paint on this pickup isn't really the great, you can see there's already a chipped paint, which is annoying. The second thing is the Pace Edwards bed locker. It's an electric style tonneau cover, which is awesome. You know, things get stolen in Europe sometimes. Another thing is uh, DZ tailgate piston. It's great uh, when the bed doesn't slams down. It's you know, kind of safe. The last but not least is this. As you can see, there is no spare tire. It's because this is a liquefied petroleum tank or LPG. If you ask why I have converted this truck to run even on gas and LPG, it's simple. When I tow significant amount of weight behind this pickup truck, which is you know pretty much possible, because this beast can tow quite a lot of, uh, it's better to use LPG because of the price price of the LPG is approximately half. The only way you can find that this pickup truck is converted is this small button which does turn on the LPG and if I show you the engine. So here we are. This is the LPG unit and that's it. Oh also there is a second set of injectors in the intake manifold. And that's it. Everything works just fine. Cylinder deactivation, fuel consumption, uh, engine, EC unit, everything is absolutely fine. So I hope that you enjoyed this small overview of living with the Ram 1500 in Europe and what it takes. If you would like to know some other information or even some road pictures just let me know i can provide those have a, have a great day